Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Today is January 31st. And I just got ready, I'm about to film a video. But first I'm going to eat lunch because it's actually already noon. But yeah, I thought I would vlog today because I have a bunch of food from Thailand that I want to try. Uh, for the first time on camera which I thought would be perfect for my vlog channel um, also I haven't posted in a while and I wanted to give you guys a little update so I thought today was a perfect day to vlog so yeah first let's get lunch I also wanted to let you guys know that I just uploaded a new video it's my Zweva and Colourpop haul so definitely check that out if you love hauls um, and I'm also currently working on my Thailand vlog which is taking me a lot of time but it's going to be worth it this video is going to be pretty amazing so definitely keep an eye out on my vlog channel if you're interested in this vlog um, I hope it will be up today so that I can start editing this vlog so that I'm not behind it's already been over a week since I've got back so I really need to upload this alright guys update time it is now 4 in the afternoon I just got done filming a video as you can see I filmed a video on the new Kathleen lights and Colourpop collection so her lip bundle and the eyeshadow palette that video should be up this week as well um, but I have all of that candy that I want to try so let's do that right now I'm thinking about where I will put my camera let's see so this is the bag with everything I purchased to try out um, but let's see let's see let's see where should I put my camera all right so this will have to do right so first thumbnail time All right, so let's start off with the first thing I got, which is the Pocky, Pocky Matcha Green Tea Flavor. So these look like Mikado sticks, which we have here in Belgium, but with matcha tea flavor. Uh, yeah, I was really curious about these. I'm not the biggest fan of matcha and like food and stuff, but let's try these out. All right, so this is what they look like. It's special. It tastes like tea. It's okay. It's not the best I've ever tried, but I'm definitely going to eat them. They're very edible. I would give this a 7 out of 10. They're pretty good, but I wouldn't necessarily like repurchase them. Alright, moving on. I have sweet potato chips. So this is what they look like. Oh, got it. All right, so this is what the chips look like. These don't really have a lot of flavor. They taste a little bit sweet since they are sweet potatoes. All right, this is good. I would give this seven and a half out of 10. Moving on, I got stick biscuit Japanese curry. So this is what they look like. Keep in mind, I got all of this from Thailand, but they do have different Asian things there. Let's go ahead and try this out. So this is what it looks like. Mmm. These are really good. Mmm. If you like curry, you would absolutely love this. I would rate this 9 out of 10. It's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Mmm. These are amazing. Alright, moving on. I got some Milo's. Milo Nuggets. I have never seen these in Belgium before, so so I'm guessing these are like Asia exclusive chocolates because it is from Nestle. Alright, so my camera just shut off. Thanks. But as I was saying, uh, this is by Nestle, so we do have Nestle in Belgium, but I've never seen Milo Nuggets before, so let's try them out. This is what it looks like. Mmm. This is really hard to describe. I can't describe these. It's like really thin chocolate on the inside and then a thick layer of chocolate on the outside. Okay, I'm the worst at describing this. But these are really good. I would rate these a 9 out of 10. I'm actually going to grab one more. Mm. I wish we had those in Belgium. I also got some tea, but I'm not going to make it right now. This is Oolong Du tea. If I make it tonight, I will show you guys. But yeah, I got tea as well. I got the Hello Kitty Confectionery Bow Strawberry Flavored Chocolates. 
Now I'm not going to lie, I already tried these and if you like uh, strawberry flavored chocolate and white chocolate, you would definitely like these. I'll show you what they look like. I'm not going to lie, I got this because of the packaging. Like I am obsessed with Hello Kitty. Where they're wrapped individually and you get a little bow of chocolate. Mmm, so good. Next I got green tea Kit Kat. I'm guessing the flavor of this will be kind of the same as this one. But I'll try it out anyways. Mm, no, I don't like this. I tried a pink Kit Kat in Thailand, which was really good, but this, mm -mm. I would rate this a 6 out of 10. Next, I got these little koala bears, which I know we can get these in Belgium as well. But I've never seen these with milk on the inside. We have them with chocolate, but I've never seen them with milk. And in Thailand, I tried the ones with banana and chocolate, and they were really good as well. So if you've never tried koala cookies, this is what they look like. Mm, they're okay. There's not really a lot of taste in it. I do taste the milk, but I'm not really a big fan of milk, so I would rate these a 7. I prefer the ones with chocolate and the one with banana and chocolate. This, uh, not my favorite. Moving on, I got a bonbon bon with cookies and cream. So this is individually wrapped, and this looked really good. So... I want to try it out. The sucky part about trying this out once I'm back is that if I like something, I'm screwed. So it looks like a little mellow cake, I would say. Hmm. So this is what that looks like on the inside. It has a little like wafer texture. It is really good. I would rate this eight and a half out of ten. The next thing I got are these instant Thai tea little powder bags. I drank a lot of these in Thailand and they were really good but I'm not sure about these ones because they're not fresh but I want to try them out so when I make it I will definitely again keep you guys updated but I'm really curious to try these out. And I also got the milk and strawberry flavored two-tone chocolate which looks like this. I personally really like strawberry and white chocolate so this looks really good. Mm, it has little pieces of cookies in it. That's really good. I would rate this an 8. A solid 8. Alright, and then the last thing I have to try is the Big Sheet Tom Yum Goong Flavor um, Seaweed. So this is basically dried seaweed. You see this everywhere in Thailand, so of course I had to try it out. Ooh, that smells like the ocean. Oof. Alright, let's try this out. So these are little sheets, so this is what one sheet looks like. This looks very crazy. I feel like sushi would love this. I personally love sushi. So I can eat it. But the texture is something I've never seen before. Like, this is crazy. This is seaweed. It is a little bit spicy and I definitely uh, taste the tom yum soup. It's weird, like you have to get used to it, but once you get used to the texture, it's actually pretty good. I would rate this a seven and a half, eight, somewhere between that. If you want to see it up close, this is what it looks like. All right, so my mouth is probably full of food, but those are all of the things I picked up to try out from Asia. Luckily, there was nothing disgusting in here. Like, there were a few things that I liked better than others, but overall, Asia has some pretty good food. Yo, so I just washed all of these brushes. This took me forever. I think this took me like one or two hours, which is crazy. But finally, all of my brushes are clean. I can't wait to start using my clean brushes because they have been dirty for, I think, two months, which is disgusting. All right, guys, so I just got back from picking up my mom from the station. Um, she got them from work, and I decided to pick her up and be a good daughter. But yeah, it's already evening now, so I think I'm just going to take off this makeup, and I don't really have anything special planned, so I might end the vlog here. See, so if I don't vlog anymore, then good night, and I will see you guys in another vlog, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next clip. Let it go.